Let's practice writing the equation of a tangent line to a particular trig function together. To get the most out of this video, I encourage you to grab some paper, something to write with, and let's do some math together. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to find the derivative of this original function. So we can see here we have our original function of f of x is equal to 2 times cosine of this 2x. And we're really going to have to think about our function as two parts here. We have an outside function and an inside function, and we're going to apply the chain rule here. So on the side, let's go ahead and remember that for the chain rule, that when you take the derivative of a function that is nested inside of another function, that will multiply the derivative of that outside function by the derivative of that inside function. Now for our particular function here, f of x is going to be cosine of x, and g of x is going to be 2x. That being said, the derivative of cosine of x is going to be negative sine of x, and the derivative of g of x, or g prime of x, is going to be equal to 2. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we have this f prime of g of x. So we know f prime is going to be negative sine of x, but this x part is going to be replaced by this g of x here, which is going to be 2x. Keep in mind that this 2 in front is just going to come along for the right here. So we can go ahead and say that f prime of x, or the derivative of this function, is going to be equal to what? Well, it looks like we're going to have negative 2 times sine of what? Of g of x. Now, g of x, we said, is going to be 2x. I'm going to go ahead and write that right over here. And what we have to do is multiply that by this g prime of x, which we know is equal to 2. So let's go ahead and multiply that by the derivative of that g of x function. So hopefully that makes sense that this part of the derivative is right over here, and this part of the derivative is right over here. Cleaning this up a bit, we can go ahead and multiply this negative 2 by positive 2 and say our derivative here of our function, or f prime of x, is going to be negative 4 times sine of 2x. Keep in mind that this derivative here can help us find the slope of a tangent line at any given point. Next, let's go ahead and find the slope of the tangent line at a specific x value that we're given. So this specific x value we know is going to be this uh, pi over 4, or 45 degrees. And so in order to do that, let's go ahead and take our derivative and say let's find f prime instead of x. We're going to say it's going to be pi over 4. So we're going to plug an x into our uh, derivative here. And so at pi over 4, we can get the slope of this tangent line if we just plug that value in. So it's negative 4 times sine of this 2 multiplied by pi over 4. All right, so if we go ahead and evaluate this, we'll get the slope of the tangent line at that specific x value. Now, if we want to simplify this a bit, we can go ahead and just take this 2 and multiply it by pi over 4. So we can say that this is going to be negative 4 multiplied by sine of this pi over 2, or 90 degrees. Now you want to remember some trig here. Now sine of pi over 2 is just going to be equal to 1 because it's the y value on the unit circle at 90 degrees, which is 1 there. And so we have negative 4 multiplied by 1, and that's just going to be equal to negative 4. And so while the slope of the tangent lines can change at any given x value, this negative 4 here is going to be the particular slope of the tangent line going through that x value of pi over 4. So we know this is the original function that we're dealing with here, and we also know that the tangent line is going to be uh, hitting that function at x equals pi over 4. We also know the slope of that tangent line right now, we just don't know the y-coordinate yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure that out. So our original function here is what? I think we said earlier it was f of x is equal to 2 times cosine of that 2x. Now we know the x coordinate of which uh, they're going to intersect, we don't know the y coordinate yet. So let's go ahead and plug in this uh, uh, x coordinate of pi over 4 into the original function to find out the y value. So again, we, we have the x, we're going to find out the y. So f of this pi over 4 is going to be 2 times cosine of 2 multiplied by pi over 4. Now multiplying 2 times pi over 4, that's just going to be pi over 2. So we're going to have 2 multiplied by cosine of pi over 2, which is just going to be 90 degrees. Now, if you take uh, cosine of pi over 2, think about where your unit circle is going to be there. But uh, cosine of pi over 2, that's just going to end up being 0, right? It's going to be the x coordinate at 90 degrees. And so that's going to be 2 multiplied by 0 here. And 2 times 0 is just going to equal 0. And so we can see here that we knew that x was pi over 4. We now know the y is going to be 0. So the point of tangency we just found out here is going to be pi over 4 comma zero. This right here is where the tangent line is going to hit that original function of f of x is equal to 2 times cosine of 2x. 
Oh, and I forgot to put this on here earlier, but uh, if this helps at all, you can look at this for the trig stuff. So back when we did uh, sine of pi over two, I said that was one, but again, sine is the uh, Y value on the unit circle. So this is pi over two and the Y value is one. So hopefully that helps. And then for cosine of pi over two, remember that's the X value at pi over two or 90 degrees. And the X value here is just zero. So maybe this uh, little unit circle might help a little bit. All right, so now I think we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and see if we can put everything together. So let's go ahead and see if we can write the equation of the tangent line. We have a point. That point is going to be this pi over four comma zero. That's going to be the point of tangency. And using the derivative earlier, we found out the slope of that tangent line. We said it was going to be negative four. And so if we have a point and a slope, we want to remember point slope form which is this formula right over here. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know here. Uh, we can use our uh, pi over four and zero as x1, y1. So we can plug it in and say we have y minus y1, which is gonna be zero here, is gonna be equal to m or negative four. Let's go ahead and multiply that by x minus x1 or x minus is pi over four. Uh, and I think this right here would be the equation of our tangent line. This right here would be our answer. Now, if you wanted to go a little further, you totally could and just kind of simplify this a little bit if you'd like to. Uh, you can go ahead and distribute this negative four if you wanted to write this in slope intercept form. And also this minus zero is not really totally necessary either. So uh, you could leave it like this. I think that's fine for most cases. You could also say this to be y is equal to negative four x. And if you distribute that negative four to that negative pi over four, that's just gonna be plus pi here. This right here would be another way you could write uh, the equation of that tangent line. Now to put this all together, I think it's sometimes helpful to see this on a graph so you can kind of put all the pieces together and kind of visualize it. So let's take a look at that. All right, so first of all, you can kind of see this is our original function kind of just moving along here, this black line. So that's our original function. Then right over here, you can see our point of tangency. We were given that pi over four and we plug that into the original function or f of pi over four to find out that y value of zero. And then we have the equation of this tangent line. Uh, you can see this tangent line is gonna go ahead and have that uh, slope of negative four, which we found out earlier using the derivative. And hopefully it makes sense. The y-intercept also seems to be pretty reasonable of pi because it's hitting the uh, y-axis right above three here, or a little bit around 3.14. So there you have an example of finding the equation of a tangent line uh, to a trig function at a specific x value. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and sharing with a classmate or friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep it the great work that you're already doing.